Lucille, dear, I just want to say that I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. You didn't catch a cold or anything, did you? Are you feeling okay now? I'm feeling just fine. I was only stuck inside for an hour or so. Of course, I didn't catch a cold. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that, honey. Not even so for you to have accidentally locked yourself out of the house and on the coldest day of the year, too. I didn't notice your text messages, and Harold didn't hear my phone buzzing either. We were having such a lovely conversation at the time, but all the while his poor little wife was outside in the freezing cold. He must have felt awful. I wouldn't really mind if you didn't notice my text, but I actually tried texting and calling Harold too. Not just you. You both knew I was stuck outside, didn't you? Huh? You think we knew that you were locked out there all along? Aren't you the one who told me to go to the grocery store to stock up on milk and bread because it looked like it was going to snow? When I got back, I knocked on the door and rang the doorbell a bunch of times. I don't think it'd be possible not to realize that I was trying to get in. Oh my! So you did notice our little joke. Don't be so mad, honey. You know we just like to tease you. That's all. We're always joking around. I know you're plenty used to it. <laughs> you say I'm used to the teasing. But every time you do it, I ask you to cut it out. Yet, you don't stop. Are you actually listening to what I say? Don't forget that Harold is in on this too. You should be saying the same to him. My baby's my partner in crime after all. We're two peas in a pod. Oh, I do. Don't worry. I'm always telling you both the same thing. Please give the teasing a rest. It's not funny and I don't enjoy it. You say you're telling him to stop, but is he really listening to what you have to say if he's still doing it? You know, a while back, I got so fed up with it all. I actually started doing the paperwork to file for divorce. The mean-spirited jokes were just too much. I couldn't take it anymore. I didn't go through with it at that time, but I still have all the documents stored away just in case. I'm only ever able to get Harold to apologize for this behavior by threatening him to divorce him. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> Did you actually do the paperwork and everything? Oh my gosh, there's no way. If you really did that, then Harold would be shocked. At this point, I don't know how many times I made that threat. It happens so often, it probably doesn't even mean anything to him anymore, I guess. But wait, weren't we talking about you apologizing too? It's great that you and Harold are so close and all, it really is. But can you please stop with the teasing? Surely, there is another way for you two to have fun together. I'm sorry, honey. We just end up doing it without even realizing. Harold and I be, may be mother and son, but really, it feels more like we're best friends. I know yesterday we ended up having a little too much fun. It had been such a long time since we had gotten together and all. We got carried away in the moment. I'm really sorry about that, dear. Thanks for the apology, but I can help but feel that it doesn't mean anything. How many times have we been through this? I've lost count. At this point, it's honestly hard to believe that you actually feel sorry about anything. Why would you say such a thing, honey? You're my dear son Harold's beautiful bride after all. I treasure our relationship and love you like you're my own daughter. Okay, well, if you say so, I guess I'll forgive you this time too. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that, dear. You're such a sweetheart. And I just know you'll forgive Harold too, won't you? After all, even though you give us a bit of scolding, you always forgive our little jokes with the laugh, don't you? Yeah, I guess that's how it always goes. That's the Lucille I know and love. You really are the perfect wife for Harold. I knew it from the day I met you. You're such a team player. I'm so proud to have you as my daughter-in-law. And Harold's always telling me how happy he is that he is such a kind-hearted bride too. We love you so much. I'm glad to hear that at least. I'll be happy as long as you two actually cut down on the pranks from now on. Please try to restrain yourselves next time, okay? Of course, honey. I understand completely anything for you. 
Oh, by the way, there's something I wanted to tell you about. Did you hear from Harold that I'm thinking about planning a family vacation soon? Yeah, I believe you mentioned something like that. If I remember correctly, he said you were just thinking about it and hadn't planned any of the details. Is that right? Yep. Sounds like he told you everything there is to know. It feels like forever since I've had a proper vacation. And I want the whole family to be able to enjoy it too. I'll take care of the planning and such. I'll let you know the details once I have them. All you have to do is get ready, okay? All right. Sounds good. Thanks for offering to do all the planning. I'm looking forward to hearing more about it. I'm excited and I'm sure that Harold is as well. Neither of us has been anywhere fun since our honeymoon. I'll go ahead and start looking for the perfect destination. You can count on me. Have a nice day and talk to you later. Hi, honey. I finished all the planning for the family vacation. I even have a date. Oh, you've already got it all lined up? What destination did you end up deciding on? I'll be sending Harold all the details later, so I won't bother you with the specifics right now. My plan is that we'll fly to a resort near the ocean. It's been so cold here, I need to warm up. But to add to the excitement, the exact location will be a secret. If I save the reveal for the day we leave, then it'll be a fun surprise for you. Is this just your usual teasing again? No, of course not. What are you even saying, darling? I'm doing this out of my genuine love and care for you as your mother-in-law. Well, if it's a good surprise, then I guess I don't mind that much. It's better than your usual mean-spirited jokes. I know, right? Surprises are so much fun. I just know that you'll be so happy, so please look forward to it, dear. We'll leave at the end of the month. Be sure to get everything ready. Got it. Thanks for setting us all up. It's been a long time since I went to resort, so I'm really looking forward to it. But I hope you two don't get up to any funny business. Don't get carried away, okay? If we get there and it's just endless pranks, I don't think I'll have very much fun. Hmm. Lucille, whatever could you be talking about? We're proper adults. We wouldn't do anything like that. <laughs> I really hope that's the case. You say that, but you would actually be enjoying it, wouldn't you? What do you mean? What would I be enjoying? If that were true, then why do you think I always get angry? That's just a part of the fun, dear. You look so silly when you get angry. That's why we always end up going overboard. <laughs> You're just too cute. Oh, so that's what it is. But listen, I just want to make sure that you understand. I don't get angry because I enjoy it or because I'm having a good time. It's not a fun experience for me at all. Please don't make weird assumptions like that. <laughs> don't worry, honey. I won't. You're quite the contrarian, you know. But I think that part of you is cute too. Ah, oh, okay, if you say so. Anyway, the trip will be at the end of this month, right? I assume that you'll be making all the reservations. Of course, leave it to me. I already toward, told Harold this, but it'd be great if you could come pick us up on the day so we can just park one car at the airport. We'll all be traveling together. It'll be a real family vacation. I hope you're looking forward to it. Mary, are you there? Did Harold already come to pick up you guys? Harold? Yes, he's already arrived. Is there something you need from him? Oh, thank God. It was just taking longer than I thought. I was getting worried. I haven't heard from him for two hours. Well, today is the day of the trip after all. He got here safe and sound, so don't you worry. Great. Will you all be headed back this way before too long? It's getting kind of late, and since nobody told me the schedule, I'm worried that we might be late. I don't want to be running through the airport. I'm all ready to go over here, so I'll be able to hop in the car as soon as you all arrive. Huh? You'll hop in the car when we arrive? What are you talking about? 
Huh? I was still getting a few things ready over here. So, Harold said he'd go ahead and you guys get without me. After that, he'd swing back by here, pick me up, and then we'll all head to the airport. That's what he told me anyway. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, honey. We forgot all about you. What? What do you mean you forgot about me? Wasn't today the big family vacation that you've been planning for all of us? Well, since it's a family vacation, we thought we had everyone already. <laughs> You're just family by marriage after all. Originally, it was just the three of us. We're so used to it just being me, Tristan, and Harold, we forgot that anyone else was coming. <laughs> Are you seriously saying that? Like you actually forgot about me? You didn't remember that I was a member of your family? I said I'm sorry, didn't I? Oh, honey, I feel so bad. I wish that we could come back and get you right now. But we've just boarded the plane, so I don't think that's possible. <laughs> uh, okay, I see. So that's how it is. I'm so sorry about our little mistake. I promise we'll bring you some souvenirs to make up for it. So I hope you can forgive us. You know what? It's fine. Don't worry about it. After all, starting now, I'm not in your family anyway. I quit. Please have a good time on your family vacation. Oh my, what are you saying, dear? Is this just one of your empty threats? Or maybe a bad joke? Give it a rest already. Humor never was your strong suit, you know that. No, this isn't just a joke or a threat. I'm actually leaving your family for good. I got so sick of Harold's pranks that I actually got all the divorce paperwork ready. It's filled out and ready to go. I'll go get the paperwork now, so just wait there. Be back in a second. Hold on, honey. It was just a prank. Of course we're not actually on the plane right now. We just wanted to give you a little surprise and have a laugh like we always do as usual. We would never really forget you. Surely you know that. We'll come and get you right away, so just wait there. See you soon. Hey, Lucille, where are you? We came back to your house to pick you up, but you're not here. Even if we leave now, we won't be late. So you'll come on the family vacation with us, won't you? Oh, I'm sorry, I already left. I'm at my parents' house right now. I divorced Harold, so there's no reason for me to be at his house anymore. And I don't have any intention of going back there either. Stop exaggerating, saying you're already divorced. I bet you didn't even file the paperwork, did you? Let's get together and apologize and be done with all of this. It'll all just be water under the bridge, right? Sorry, but it's a little too late for that. I already filed the divorce paperwork. It's already being processed. There's no way. You're lying, aren't you? Oh, I see. You're just trying to get back at us for our little surprise earlier. Let's just stop this joking around and apologize, okay? I don't think pranks are really your style. Um, no, I'm not joking. I did what I said I would do. I actually took the paperwork to City Hall and filed it. I believe that in a few days, Harold should be getting a notice in the mail regarding the divorce. This is goodbye. Thanks for everything, I guess. Don't you mess with me. Look, I know what Harold and I did was wrong. We took things too far this time, but it was just our usual prank, that's all. Just a little joke. Certainly nothing worth getting divorced over. Just a little joke? Well, I guess if it's how you two see it, huh? Just a prank. Like always. Just a mother and son having some fun together? Sorry, but from my end, it's not like that. What do you mean, it's not like that? You always smile and say it was all okay, don't you? When did I ever say any of that was okay? I just put up with it because I thought I didn't have a choice. After all, Harold and I only have been married a year. I thought I just need to be patient, that eventually things would settle out and we'd have a normal relationship. Seems like I was wrong. But Lucille, you knew that we weren't serious. You knew we were just having a laugh. What's so wrong with that? I wrote that the reason for the divorce was that my husband was always harassing me. I told him to stop and that I didn't appreciate his behavior, but he always said that he was just joking and that I was taking things too seriously. 
Not only did my husband mistreat me, but I was harassed by my mother-in-law as well. She even locked me out of the house on purpose despite knowing that it was the coldest day of the year and the temperatures outside were below freezing. And to top it all off, I was even left behind on the day of the family vacation. Despite having been led to believe that I was invited, I was apparently forgotten because I was only a member of the family by marriage. How can you not see something wrong with these things? Do you actually think that I enjoy having any of that done to me? Look, it's true that we took things too far. You've got me there. But the pranks and jokes were just an expression of our love. We thought we were just having fun with you. All we did was love on you a little too much, dear. That's all. Why can't you understand that? So, basically, since you were just joking around, I had to put up with it. Is that right? And then afterwards, I was supposed to smile, laugh, and tell you that I didn't mind. There's no way you can be serious. Surely you're joking about not understanding how that's wrong. Even after all this, you really can't give up the pranking, can you? But honey, Harold really does feel bad about this. Try putting yourself in his shoes and imagining what he's thinking right now. He certainly didn't want to get divorced. I can tell you that for certain. A good wife should have some sympathy for her husband's feelings. Why should I care about his feelings when he clearly never cared about mine? He'll care about your feelings from now on. I promise you have my word. If you really do hate our little jokes, then we'll stop doing them for good, okay? And then everything will be all right and we can live as a happy family again. This conversation really is pointless, isn't it? You've just been trying to brush over all the things you've done wrong and make it look like I'm somehow the bad guy for even bringing it up. Mary, do you have any self-awareness at all? How am I brushing over the things I've done wrong? I told you that I know we went too far. I thought I was apologizing to you, Lucille. How many times have I warned you about this? How many times have I said that I don't like your pranks and that I want you to stop? And did you actually take what I said seriously? Did you ever change your ways? Why should I believe the apology of someone who has never once shown remorse or attempted to correct their behavior? Now, that's a little harsh, Lucille. I admitted that what we did was wrong, didn't I? I said we're sorry, so why are you still nitpicking like this? Is that something that a wife should do to her husband and his family? So in the end, that's what you really think, that I'm just nitpicking. You never had any intention of apologizing to me, did you? You really don't think that what you did was wrong at all? If you did, then you wouldn't say something like that to me after all that's happened. You never stop nagging, do you? Didn't I tell you that this was just our way of showing you our love? Are you not even capable of understanding the way your family communicates? So basically, what you're saying is fizz. I always have to accept the ways you heard me because that's how you have fun. Since that house you show love, I just have to smile and let it happen. And on top of all that, you won't even acknowledge the divorce or any of my objections to your behavior. So understanding all that, I need to hurry up and forgive you. It almost sounds like you're asking me to apologize. I didn't say anything like that. You're putting words in my mouth. I'm just summarizing what you've said to me in this conversation. Do you not remember what you've been saying? You should go back and read what you've been writing. I think if you did, you might begin to understand, even just a little. That's enough. Don't you mess with me. Even now, despite everything you've said to me, I want you to know that I still love you as my precious daughter-in-law. What do you have to say to that? How can you be so ungrateful? You got your feelings a little hurt and now you're whining about wanting a divorce? J just how shallow of a person are you? <laughs> Mary, I don't even know what your point you're trying to make anymore. None of your arguments make any sense. I don't have anything else to say to you anyway, so this conversation ends here. Also, just so you know, I will be claiming alimony in the part of the divorce. So look forward to a notice in the mail about that as well. Now you wait just a minute. Why would you do that? Are you talking about money? Just who do you think will be paying who? Yep, I'm talking about the money that Harold will be paying me to make up for all the mistreatment I've had to endure. And since he doesn't have enough to pay, he'll probably come running to his BFF mummy to help him with the payments. 
I've been keeping a record of all the times that the two of you have harassed me and called it a joke. You seen that? I'll also be looking into see what legal action I can take against you in the terms of harassment. So you were even going so far as to keep a record? I can't believe it. I'll never allow such a thing. I don't need your permission. I just wanted to let you know in advance. Please look forward to hearing the details from my lawyer later. I said, wait a minute. I've done nothing to deserve this. I never did anything wrong to you. I'm not giving you any money. Do you think you can sue us because of some jokes and teasing? Are you crazy? This may come as a shock, though it might not seem that way to you. To society at large, my complaints are perfectly legitimate and this is a fair way to settle things between us. Fair? There's nothing fair about it. We were just living a normal life. And what's there to complain about? How can you be so ungrateful? Mary, I think you and Harold may not realize just how far from normal your way of thinking is from the rest of society. You need to take a good hard look at yourself so that you can understand just how outrageous you sound to the average person. After all, the next wife might not be as tolerant as I was. If there is a next wife, that is. After that, I did just as I told my mother-in-law I would do. I sued both her and Harold for harassment. Because I had kept such a thorough record of all the ways the two of them had harassed me with their so-called jokes and teasing. I was able to receive all the money I had claimed without any issues. Mary and Harold insisted until the bitter end that they didn't want to pay me. Maybe, after all this, they can finally begin to understand just how far their way of thinking was from society at large. I feel a little bad that my father-in-law, who had never really been involved with the mistreatment directly, get caught up in this too. But it's not like he never made any attempt to stop Mary or Harold either. He just sat by and let it happen. Maybe this will give all of them a chance to change their flawed way of thinking. I might even be saying others from their emotional damage that I had to go through. That's what I'd like to imagine anyway, as I collect the money from the damages. Now that I'm separated from Harold and I don't have to put up with him or Mary anymore, I'm living a happy and peaceful life by myself as a single person. Looking back at how much I put up with that treatment in the name of getting used to married life, I can see how senseless that patient was. I feel so refreshed now. The difference is unreal. I really should have gotten out of that relationship sooner. I will do my best from now on to avoid having people like them in my life. I am determined to ensure nothing like that ever happens to me again. Anyone who thinks their personal enjoyment should come at the expense of others isn't worth my time or attention. I think I can safely say that the only good thing to have come out, out of my marriage with Harold was that I was able to learn this lesson and that I'll be able to prioritize my own emotional well-being from now on.